Hey guys, Michael the Comic Nerd here with another MTCN Let's Play. Uh, I am being super lazy right now, and I am reclining my chair, I'm wearing a blanket, I'm all relaxed and shit. But I decided, you know, we've been playing horror games for the last few Let's Plays, so we're going to try something a little different. First off, I'm going to pause this, there we go, and we're going to play a game I've been looking forward to for a very long time called Beyond Eyes. Uh, that's a much more peaceful game, much more for the emotional route, very, eh, provide good variety. So, uh, we are going to start from the prologue, because I have not played any of this yet, and we are going to see where it goes. Here we go. Yes, fine with that. Okay. And we are loading. I will be providing wishful commentary the best I can, though. I'll love with folks more on the experience, so bear with me. This is new for me, too. I may cry. It was a lovely summer's day. Look at her, she looks happy. Rai was playing with her friends. I don't need to say it's an Irish voice, I just like to. And there's a tree. Whoa, fireworks, that's pretty. Ooh. Oh, that doesn't look like it ends well. Oh, it doesn't! Shit, that's a pretty gruesome way to lose your eyes. Sight. Okay. Like, I can't say that in an Irish accent. I feel like a jackass. Hell, I am a jackass. Who am I kidding? That's, uh... That summer Ray spent a lot of time in the garden alone with their thoughts. That's really fucking sad. Oh, boy. Okay. What have we gotten ourselves into here? I'm gonna turn up the volume just a little bit. Okay, so we're on a bench. One day she received a visitor. Oh, it's a kitty cat. Hello, kitty cat. The cat doesn't blink, it's kind of freaking me out. Okay. So it looks like I have the floor now. So, how does this work? Well, first off, like, where are you going? Whoa, why is my camera key spinning? Ah, shit. I'm not sure, like, the controls are set up for this. Does this thing support game pads? Hmm. Uh, sorry, guys, I gotta work out some technical shit. Blah. I'll be right back. There we go. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, I don't know what I did exactly, but uh, I fixed it. I did something. Like, for a second, I was starting to wonder if it was like a, a deliberate design choice, because like, I kept doing it even if I had the gamepad plugged in or not. But I just plugged the gamepad back in, and boom, all of a sudden it worked fine again. Okay, so let's see. Well, the graphics are gorgeous. Okay, so she's moving along. She's feeling the fr Oh, that's very clever. So we're going to go down this path, see where it takes us. And the world kind of opens up to it. That's pretty cool. Very quiet so far. Oop, I hear a bird. Oh! That's very cool. So like, I hear the bird sort of appear. Oh, where'd the bird go? Oh, he's off that way. The colors are fucking gorgeous. Look at all this shit. Like, bright greens and pinks and blues and all that shit. Like, games lack so much co Oh, something's happening. Did I hear a cat? I think I heard a cat. Oh, hello, kitty. Oh, And it's gone. No, it's... Oh, that's very clever. The pair quickly became best friends. Oh. And my, my camera is blocking her head. So I'm going to try to move myself down here to the top left, bottom left corner. Well, I'm going to pause for a second, guys. My FPS is going way, way down. Okay, there we go. I think it's as good as it's going to get. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, I'm still kind of learning the ropes of Let's Play, the, te the technological aspect of this. Oh, sorry. Story head thing. So we get away to Autumn. Ray's friend now had a name. What's the name? You got to tell me? Nanny. Nanny? So there's... Close hand in there, alright. Oh! 
Oh, Ray's, uh, Nini, I think, is over here. Right? I mean, I will say, like, the visual orientation, the way this game works, is very, very clever. Oh, and there's a bird. Hi, bird. Well, lots of birds out today. Oh, the dick. Oh, the cat's after the bird. The cat's in the cradle with the silver spoon. Ray missed Nanny on the days he didn't visit, but he would always show up eventually. I can never find like a good place to put my camera where I'm not in the way of what's going on in the game. Okay, let me try up here. All right, let's try that. All right, let's see here. Woodpecker. Okay, where do we go now? I kind of missed what happened. Shit. Okay, now we play the wandering game. Oh, that's a wall. Hi, wall. So that's my no-no zone, I'm guessing. Let's start walking this direction. See, what we, see where it takes us. There's another tree. Oh, and there's another wall. Hi, wall. The land of the missing walls. I shall find you, Walls, and I shall touch you with my hands, and possibly head if I run into you. Winter came, and he started to visit less often. Aww. Oh, where's the cat? Cat's over here. All right. Hmm, the snow, I don't know if it's just like my piece, my laptop, but I feel like the snow isn't coming quite as fluently as it could. I don't know, maybe I'm just being nitpicky there. Where, where, I heard the cat. Where is the cat? Nanny. This place more much like kind of like more like a visual novel than like an actual game. I will say this, did you get the sensation of like feeling lost in a small environment? Where are you, you stupid cat? Sorry, cat. I'm not a cat person. <laughs> I'm not a cat person. And we're feeling a lot more wall. Okay, so that's obviously not it. So I'm guessing it's somewhere in this general direction we're supposed to go. Nani. Oh, that's how post. That's how we find it, because we bump into it. That's like, ah, fuck you all. And that leads to another post. Okay. Is it more walls? <laughs> okay, okay, God, just let's figure this out. Let's figure this out. We can do this. We have the technology. Okay, okay, she said that the cat's name was going the right direction. I think. Come here, I'm gonna try this way. Oh, nope. I mean this way. Nani. I t I don't feel very safe. My God. I'm I'm just gonna run into all the goddamn walls. Or bushes. Probably both. Okay, okay, we can do this. We can find this cat. We are gonna find this cat. We're gonna turn over every brick wall. Leave no stone unturned. Oh, I heard the cat. Cat's over here. Yay! We found the cat. Nanny. Hey, Nani, come here, you slimy little fucking... Okay, okay, cool. Something's happening. Oh, hey, Nanny! Aww. I love the way, like, she moves. It feels very, kind of like, oh, oh, oh. Each time Nanny would left the garden, Ryan would worry. Wonder if he would ever come back. That's really fucking depressing. Does this kid have no friends or parents or anything? Oh. Well, now I feel all bad.
Oh, did winter pass? I guess so. Winter appears to be gone. So I guess I'm going to walk back this way. My FPS is really low right now. I don't know how that affects the quality of the video. Hopefully not too much, guys. If it does, I apologize. Uh, right now, there's really not much I can do about it. Oh, shit. Well, wh where's Nani? Is she coming back? Oh, more bushes. Be beware of the bushes. Hmm, I wonder, like, if the more you explore this place, like, as as someone who's significantly blind, the more you just kind of instinctively know your way around. I guess you would have to. I don't know. That's one of those things I never... I don't know anyone who's blind. I'd be very interested to find out. Uh, you know, if you are, and, well, I... Okay, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. It's one of those things. It's just... I'd be very curious. You know, because I'm like that. I'm, cu I'm a curious person when it comes to things like this. I want to learn new perspectives. I do. I do. And as I'm very slowly wandering around, I'm trying to figure out where I'm supposed to go next. Like, I will say this. This game could use a little more direction. Because right now I feel like I'm just kind of wandering around aimlessly waiting for the next event to happen. So I guess I'm going to go back to my little chair. See if that does anything. I, I don't know. I don't know. Is there like an interaction button of some sort? Okay, let me check the controls here. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Oh, there is a space. Shit, I was probably supposed to interact with the gate. Well, you know, we've made our long Winnie the Pooh trike over here, so at least I'm going to try it. Uh, I don't know what the select button equivalent is on a gamepad, but, uh, hmm. Well, that did nothing, so we're going to go back to the gate, and uh, we're going to make it work, so. Hi-ho, hi-ho, back to the gate we go. I don't have anything more clever to add than I wish I did, but. I'm not the fanciest Let's Player in the world, but I do what I can with what I've got. Again, I don't need to talk in an Irish accent. I just like to. I'm probably offending actual Irish people at this point, but, you know, it's what I do. According to some people, who shall rename nameless. Eh. I can't think of any time I've actively insulted somebody, except when I suggest that Batman vs. Superman might suck. Okay, we're gonna try this again. Let's see. Uh... Okay, cool, yeah. Okay, so press A on the control pad to open it. And we're through. Ray misses her friend badly. One day she decided to go and find him. Oh, where is the parental supervision? Okay, so we're loading. I'm sorry we just finished the first chapter. I'm guessing. I'm guessing. I could be wrong. So I got I got my comfy little Spider-Man blanket here. This is actually a gag gift from my sister until I tried wearing it one day because I got cold. I was like, hey, you know, this blanket is really fucking comfortable. Okay, so we're in an entirely new world. Wow, I just kind of realized... Shit, this is, feels really big and I feel really small. Uh, whoa. Oh, crap. It's the Resident Evil 4 bell. I'm gonna die. No, it's not that kind of game. Oh, that's a fence. Okay, so we gotta follow the fences. You really do feel just kind of lost a little bit here. Oh, this poor little girl. Does... I mean, what has that gotta be like to have to rely completely on our senses to build some kind of mental picture for you to work with? I mean, what has that gotta be like? Okay, there's a tree. I mean, for a video game, it's a fascinating concept to make it like this visual medium. What is that? Ray wondered if Nani might come this way. Damn it, my face is blocking this text again! I can't win with you! 
What if I made you sm what if made me smaller? You guys can do without a little more of me. There we go. That should probably make it a little easier, right? Let me make it a little bigger. All right, there we go. Now, it, it requires me to be slightly less narcissistic, but hopefully it'll help me see this a little better. Okay, so the green infinity symbol means I can interact with it. Oh, dear gir girl, no! You get a parent! Grab some kind of support! Like, I feel really bad for this little girl. It's like, no! You should not be out here by yourself! At the same time... Okay. Oh, it's a bridge. Oh, okay. Well, that's really good use of visuals. That's really fucking clever. Like, you hear the water before you feel the bridge. That's why the... Okay, that's really fucking clever. Okay, I guess these pink lines are just kind of, like, dictating what I'm supposed to go, or is that just slowly revealing the world around me? Hmm... Like, I feel like this little girl should not be out by herself like this. Especially since it sounds like she hasn't had much experience exploring herself in her condition yet. Whoa! Whoa! Oh. Damn it, face! Ah! Damn it, my face! Find a place and stay there, because I missed that piece of dialogue because of you. Meh! Okay, that was a good twist. I'm not going to lie. Where are we? Can I interact with this at all? No? Okay, I guess, uh... Okay. Let's just give me the spooks. This is making me feel some stuff. It's, it's not quite like, gone like, oh my god, this is amazing yet. But it has potential. We'll see where this goes. I mean, I, I will admit to some bias. Like, I want this game to be good because I love the concept. I love, again, I love it when games can actually explore different parts of the human as pretentious as it sounds a human condition in a way that can only really be done through video games I mean I can't see this being done in television or movies at all unless you count Daredevil but I kind of feel like considering he can still technically like that's a superhero thing I'm not sure how accurately it really represents it if it does let me know in the comments because it'd be interesting to find out okay okay looks like I can get out of this kind of dank scarecrow filled area that's a bad scarecrow there's a lot of crows in there by the way that's an ineffective scarecrow if I've ever seen one okay so it's, don't be don't be scared Ray seriously it's okay okay she's calmed down she's okay <laughs> it's just the way this little girl's animated is like oh don't be sad I've got your back. It's okay. By the way, guys, I, I don't know how much long, um, longer I'm going to play. It's really fucking late over here. It is 2.30 in the morning, and I'm up way past my bedtime. I take that back. My bedtime's usually like an hour from now. I don't really sleep. I don't know if you guys caught that impression by now. I make a lot of stuff. A lot more of my free time goes into making new stuff than I care to admit. Oh, I hear a stream. My god, the colors in this game are so fucking gorgeous. Oh, there's a bridge here. I'm learning how this game works. Oh, it's a frog. Oh, can, I, can I play with the frog? Where'd the frog go? I guess maybe it's not moving so I can't hear it. I mean, the way this is visualized, the way it goes, is fucking gorgeous. Oh, chickens. It, it, like, this game, I won't give it this much credit. It really captures a sense of discovery. In the smallest little things. Oh, can I open this? I mean, look at the way she moves. That doesn't like it feels very realistic in that regard. I mean, visually, it's very, very creative. I'm curious to see where the story's going. Gameplay is fine. I mean, if you have a gamepad or even just working keyboard, it works fine. Can I play with the chickens at all? Oh, the chickens run away. I'm gonna chase you, chicken. <laughs> Come here. I'm gonna get you. Yeah. Okay. How do I get out of here? Oh, that's the way I came in. Buckabar. 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 Oh, 
Okay, so I think I'm st I think I'm kind of stuck in this little chicken coop. I don't know. This I don't think we're supposed to get through it. I think this is more just an extra thing we can do. Fuck it, let's chase some chickens. Come here, you little fucking bastard. This is kind of anticlimactic. Okay, I'm gonna go back out the gate. I mean, I don't expect to have a, a, a game starring a blind girl to have a running feature. That would just seem kind of cruel. We'll be on our way. Well, that was pleasant. That was a nice thing. Ooh, like the music. It is very fairy tale esque in the way it tells. Like it, it plays like a children's book, which I'm assuming was, you know, deli the deliberate choice. But again, I like that this game is trying to instill a sense of wonder rather than just trying to beat you over the head with drama and force sympathy. Oh no. Oh, it's behind a fence, thank god. Wait, how can you hear it behind a- how can you hear a fence? Okay, I'm just gonna- nice doggy. Don't hurt me. Okay, that's another bridge. That is such a trippy image. Like, I feel like I'm gonna fall in any second now. But I got this handy dandy bridge to protect me. Okay, ba 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 ba. Where is this cat? I think I'm going around in circles. So I'm gonna go this way, the opposite direction, and see where that takes me. Where are her parents? Oh, oh, there appears to be a door. Or a window? I appear to find some kind of building. Uh, I guess we'll explore around, see if there's like a door or something we can get in through. And there's an open window. Can we go in? No, we cannot. Oh, wait, there's something over here. A bench. There's a door and a some kind of water thing. Something's dripping. Oh, I see. It's like, uh... Where's that coming from? Over there. We're by the door. We're by the bell tower. And we're still stuck behind a fence. I guess we'll go this way. Okay, we found a path again. Yay. And stuff is happening, so I'm assuming we're going the right direction. Oh, we're using smell. Again, very clever. Okay. Why is the cat the only thing we can smell? Okay, so maybe that's helping with the visual experience, not so much what she's feeling and hearing, but also what she's smelling, which helps put together like some of the visual images. So what does an iron fence smell like? I wonder. Like, even look how, like, the way the hands move. I was, like, kind of dependent on, like, that's how what helps her visualize the world, is what she can feel immediately in her surroundings. Oh, this is a steep... I'm not liking where this is going. What the fuck is that? I feel like we're not supposed to go in there, but... I also feel like I'm supposed to go in there, and I don't like it. Oh, this is, like, traffic. And really? Shit, okay, I'm, I'm not liking this. This is really disturbing. Like, do I have to go in? Okay, that's traffic. That's bad. We do not want to go into traffic. Okay, there's a woodpecker by here. We know the cat likes treat woodpeckers. alone, little girl. Why are you by yourself? Oh, that's, again, that's very clever. That wasn't a woodpecker. That was just the ticking of the stop sign that she interpreted as a woodpecker until she got close. That's very clever. Oh, hello, car. 
Hi. Okay, so we've crossed the dangerous road. On this never any search for this cat, apparently. It's like the party of the Red Sea. I command the traffic to part. Alright, let's see what happens next. I have no idea where I am. I am in some kind of a park, maybe? Shit, this is like really big and I feel really blind. Oh, there's a trash can. Some trash, so we're in an urban di district? Where are your parents? There's gotta be like lost posters around here. Okay, so we. Sm Ray had never been this far from home, but she imagined Nani would have come here. Why would you assume that? This is dangerous thinking, child. You should get an adult. Okay, so we're just taking this on faith that the cat has been this way. I don't know on what basis we make this assumption. Oh, that's a door. So, you're gonna go back this way. We're gonna go this way now. Hooray! Oh, there's a stinky car. Very stinky car. What is this? Whoa, 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 oh, it's a lawnmower. Love the visuals in this. It's really fucking clever. I love it to death. I know you use the word clever a lot, but damn it, I like, I just love creativity like this. It's a new way to get across an idea that we have not seen in video games before. Okay, try... Okay, Nani, why don't you... Not Nani, uh, Ray, use your cat-sensing powers to figure out where Nani might have gone. And we have officially gone around in circles. Okay, well, the... Lawnmower Man... Not a phrase I thought I would use in this review and this uh, let's play. Seems to say we're going in a general right direction, so let's try that way then. Oh, there's a sign here that obviously we can't read because you know. So does that mean we're just imagining the symbols that are on there, or is that just for the gaming audience? I don't know. It's a good question. That's a good question, me. Oh, I think we found our bridge. Yes, we did. I am getting the hang of this. I think we're going to play... We're just going to finish this last chapter, and then we're going to call it a night, guys. Or I'm going to call it a night. I don't say we said we, like I'm fucking Venom or something like that. Because it's 2.36 in the, mor in the morning, and I'm sleepy. And I need to sleep eventually. Oh, doggy. Hi, doggy. Uh, please tell me you're behind a fence of some sort. Because I'm kind of heading right for you. Please don't eat me. Okay, I'm, I guess I'm supposed to avoid you. So I'm going to go over this way. Can I? Shush. Shush, Walt Balto. You're okay. Okay, that's more of a wall. It's okay, Ray. You don't have to be sad. It's, it's Ray or Rye? I don't know how to say it. Okay, I think we're out of the danger zone. The danger zone! You know, for someone who makes fun of Let's Players, I do tend to follow the same tropes a lot. What is, what is that? Is that an art dog? Oh, more chickens! I thought I'd be excited to see chickens. What the fuck am I hearing? Okay, we think it might be Nani, but I kind of have my doubts. Let's figure out what this thing is. The hell? Oh, it's like a wood carving thing. It's kind of whimsical. house are we at? Why do I feel like I shouldn't be here? Why is no one helping the poor blind girl running around the city by herself?
Hello, chickens. We meet again. But for the last time. For I shall enslave you. No, I shall not. I shall walk back from whence I came. Hoping to find my mysterious cat friend another way. We are traveling. One of that cat has always ever done that, uh... Oh, the dog's still fucking there. You know, dog, it's okay. I can't judge. My dogs do the same exact fucking thing. Hmm. Where to now? Well, not to that wall. Or that one. Or that bush. You would like to avoid that bush. There's a joke I can make there, but it feels very inappropriate for the context of this game. This way? Nope, that leads to another bush. Okay. I guess we'll see if we can just go directly around the dog. Please don't be a bush here. No, there is not. This path lacks a pro Oh, the... Oh. Hey, duckies! <gasps> Let's go play with the duckies. Come here, duckers. Quack, quack, duffer. Donald. <laughs> Very kind of whimsical, isn't it? Okay, that was a nice little moment. Let's see what's down yonder road. Seriously, older gentleman right there. Oh, or I guess the clock tower is like the inevitable destiny. Like in Journey, how you're trying to get towards the mountain. Destination, that's what I was looking at. Destiny. I guess it's technically your destiny, but. I don't know. to go to bed. Jesus. I'm on the road again. Oh, the fucking dog's back. Fuck you, dog. I need my dog. I mean, my duck friend. Whoa. I guess we're in my school district? I guess. I guess we are. I, I don't know why I keep saying we. Force of habit, I guess. I'm used to talking to myself a lot, so I guess that's why I'm good for Let's Plays. I use we a lot. I, is that weird? I don't know if that's weird. Does anyone else do it? Am I so, am I sociopathic? I don't know. Come here. Wait, she just told me to come here. Hello. Oh, another human being. Lily. Hi. Hi. Oh, Mira. Lily had lost her ball and needed Ray's help. And she said, over there. That's... Over there. How am I supposed to know where that is? Over there. You are very insensitive. You can at least give me more of an avid description. On there. You're not helping the situation, lady. I can't go that way because there's a fence. Oh, there. You are very unhelpful. Oh, oh, there. Oh, thank you. Okay, I will get your goddamn ball. Give me a fucking minute. That way. Oh my god, shut up. It's like I can. It's like the game will let me crawl over the fence. Oh, there. I. No. Oh, there. I'm going to kick you. That way. I'm convinced this is just what convinced, you know, Ben Urich, not Ben Urich. That uh, way. This is what convinced Matt Murdock is going to be fucking Daredevil. Just this girl wouldn't shut up again her fucking ball. That way. Pointing to a blind person where it is. Telling it's that way. 
Like that somehow tells me anything. Thanks a lot. I'm there. I can't. I'm trying. I'm trying. You need to give me a fucking moment. I mean, you think it'd just be easy just to say, "Hey, is there anywhere I can actually get into this park to find said ball?" And another dog. Oh, you made her sad again. Thanks, asshole. Like, all I want to do is get into this park, get into this park so I can get this fucking ball. For this. There is, like, no entrance into this park, ever. Oh, did I finally find it? Yes, I did. Haha. <laughs> Alright, now time to find a ball for this very demanding little girl. For some reason, does not question at all why there is a blind girl running around the city by herself. And I'm honestly kind of wondering why nobody is questioning this. I mean, she has her eyes closed all the time. It's pretty obvious that she is indeed blind. And yet, everyone is completely unhelpful. I don't know. This is, I, I guess, we could call uh, society problems. Hashtag society problems. Yes, I said, I said hashtag. Sue me. Ooh, I can play in the swings. Yay! I feel surprised. All oh, the achievements called lonely. <laughs> Oh, 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 that just makes me sad. And I was, I was like feeling peaceful there for a minute. For like a minute, the game cra crushed my hopes and dreams. Oh my god, can I get this fucking ball? Let's see. I will give this, her, give her credit. She is very dependable with her senses, as they are, such as they are. Man, I hope I'm not coming off as rude as con or condescending. That's not what I'm trying to do. I mean, it's not a condition I understand as much as I'd want. I want to. I'll be the first to admit, because it's like, unless you personally experience it, how the hell could you? There's just no way. I would love to find out, though. I'd find that very interesting. I'd find it very interesting to find out. Oh, it's you. Chuck into a fuck. I'll chuck gonna. I'll give it to one of those fucking dogs. Where are you? Oh, found it. Found it. Ha ha. Now you can shut up, little other little girl. This race stays quiet. And now I gotta walk all the way back. Can I throw it at all? No. Okay. All right. We'll start our long trek back. I don't know why I started up like mumbling the song of angry men, men to myself as if and as in any way applicable to the current situation. The little girl took my ball. Red. The blood of angry men. Black. The dark of ages come. Red. But I was like, oh, fuck, what was our sad song? Red. The blood of angry men. Black. The night that ends us all. I don't know. Oh shit. The Does the dog want the ball? The dog may want the ball. Okay. Apparently, she's just really terrified of dogs. Whoever designed this game is not a dog person. Hey, I'm here. Oh, good. You're going to make it all the way back. There's that. Oh. Oh, okay, now Ray needs help. Can he? help. Let me help her find Nani. Um, who, who is the genius who wrote down that way in a game about a blind girl? I know. I, I go through all that trouble to get the ball back and you just throw it away. Just like that. Well, 
at least she's helping. I mean, I could have done that. But, oh, well, she helped. She helped. Let's be nice. Let's put away the scissors for a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna hop over his thing here. And avoid the killer dog that apparently is just out to get me. And here's a very... This is all mid... And, uh oh. Just back away slow. Bat nice doggy. Good doggy. Don't. It's okay. It's okay. We're cool. We're cool. Please. Hey, you know, I'm just a harmless little girl. Uh, there was a sentence I didn't think I was going to say today. But I'm just harmless. Leave me alone. Man, whoever designed this game is not a fucking dog person. It's okay. It's okay. Dude. We are totally cool. Oh no. No, 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 no. Please. Oh, no, 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 no. It's okay, no, no, okay. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna walk. Wait, I wonder if I can pet it. Apparently not. Apparently I am successfully out of its territory and it is willing to let me be. Farewell, dog. I shall accept your peace treaty and be on my way. I got like genuinely worried there for a second. I was like, no, no, leave me alone. I, I, like, no, I, I'm just trying to find a cat. I'm trying to find a dumb cat. I'm just a cat that apparently abandoned me because it was getting too close. I'm, I'm starting to see more and more Daredevil parallels as I play this game more. Alright, cool. We made it to chapter, I think this is what, three, four? Yeah. So this is a good place to stop, I think, for now. Yeah, it's almost three in the morning, so I'm gonna go to bed. As soon as this thing's done loading. Alright. Let's see what chapter we're on. We are on chapter... Ooh, we are on chapter four. Okay. Alright, I think that's gonna do it for this, this one, guys, because I'm tired. I'm gonna fucking crash, so... Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Let's Play. I hope it was good. I mean, this is a very different game to try to Let's Play, so I don't know how much amusement God I got out of it. I know I can't shut the fuck up, so at least we got that going for you. So, yeah, there's that. I'll probably do another one until I, a series of this until I beat it, so keep your eye tuned to the channel for that. Thank you all for watching. I'll catch you all in the next uh, Let's Play. All right, I'm going to just uh, do my little click-click thing here. All right. Bye, guys.